political editor Carol Marine has more. Warner and Anna, Senator Obama went out of his way today to avoid reporters and their questions. It was this morning's Chicago Sun-Times, as you point out, that reported that many of the buildings that Tony Rezco was supposed to transform into affordable housing are today unlivable or boarded up. Eleven of those buildings are in what was State Senator Barack Obama's district. Buildings like this one in the 7,000 block of South Sangamon. What we wanted to ask Obama was what he knew about Resco's management or mismanagement of those buildings while Obama was state senator. During the late 1980s and through the 1990s, Tony Resco and his company secured approximately $100 million in grants, loans, and federal housing tax credits to rehab units in 30 dilapidated Chicago buildings, according to the Sun-Times investigation. Many were on the south side where Barack Obama once worked as a community activist. He was elected to the Illinois legislature in 1996. Obama also was an attorney and worked in the law firm that did legal work for Resco's company. Resco was also a major campaign contributor to Obama and served on his finance committee when he ran for U.S. Senate. I'm going to make some mistakes uh, every once in a while. Last year, Obama became embroiled in a real estate controversy of his own. On the same day that Obama purchased the sprawling South Side home, Rezco's wife bought the adjacent vacant lot. At the time, Tony Rezco was the target of a federal investigation that resulted in his indictment in October on charges he tried to solicit kickbacks in return for helping secure state pension fund business. In November, Obama called that real estate transaction a boneheaded mistake. You know, one of the things you purchase when you enter in the public life is, is that there are going to be a different set of standards. But after a foreign policy address today in Chicago, Obama's security detail altered his route out of the building. Senator Obama, will you stop? So as not to face waiting reporters' questions about this latest Resco controversy. Five weeks ago, Sun-Times reporter Tim Novak submitted a long list of written questions to Obama through his campaign. And at the same time, the Sun-Times and Channel 5 made repeated requests to do a sit-down interview with the senator. It was just yesterday in the late afternoon that the campaign provided any written answers, saying Obama, in his legal work and in his political work, had no knowledge, was unaware of any financial problems or misconduct involving Tony Rezco, and is, quote, according to the the senator's campaign troubled by any allegation against Resco. Warner and Anna, we will have more of this at 10 o'clock.